Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. Got a new little tool here that we can test out. It's the BST360 from Launch. It's a battery tester that can be connected to a Launch tool or your phone via the Google Play app. So let's get it opened up and test it out. So here's what's in the box. Just a pair of cables. Nothing else to it. The uh, tester, I take it, is built inside. So you can see here you got the launch brand on the side and just some details of what it is. Bluetooth battery tester. So here I've got the launch Eurotab 2. Now I don't think you need to have one of these, but I will we'll show you on this first and then I'll download the app on my phone and we'll go through it there. So I think we need to go to Toolbox. And then we've got the different add-ons that you can add to the, to the tool here. So we have... A battery tester and there's different sort of battery testers that you can get so let's try the BST 360 so we need to uh, get this loaded up and anyway, once we've pressed OK with all of that we can go to charge and health test system, system test so let's start with the first one so I take it you're gonna have to connect it to the battery for it to wake up or whatever you'd like to call it Make sure all the electrical units are turned off. So you'd need to check your battery. What it says, is it an AGM or EFB or a standard battery? This is a EFB. So we'll select EFB on the tester. Uh, battery standard, so I'm gonna go with European, which is where we are. And now we're gonna pick the capacity of the battery. And you can see there we have 730 CCA. So you can either click one of those ready uh, tabs there or we can slide it up along until we get it to where we want it 7.30 Now the battery's at 85% which I'd say is pretty good because the car hasn't been driven in around a week So let's slide up along Battery status of health 92% Current measured start and current is 700 Input rating 7.30 So it's not really much difference and it gives you the result down there, good battery. Next, you can skip next to the start system test. Please ensure all components are turned off, air conditioning, etc. is turned off before the test, confirm. Click confirm and start the engine to test. So we'll press confirm. We'll start the engine up. So it says there that it, it timed out, obviously because it took too long for me to get inside the car and start it. So what we'll do is bring the tool inside with us and we'll start that again. So we'll press confirm and then we'll start it. So we had starting duration 5,700 milliseconds. Starting voltage was 9.9 .9 volts and that's considered normal. So we'll go to the next one. Yes, confirm. So now it's asking us to hold the revs at 2500 RPM and keep it there for five seconds. So we're gonna increase the revs. And we'll press confirm. That's pretty normal. We'll end the test. Now we've got the report here. Now I haven't used this before, so just bear with me. I'm just going through, this is my first time using it. And I'm just doing it as a beginner as you would. So you can just read there through, it just gives you the statuses of everything. So you got 85% health where the battery was sitting. And then you got the starting test and the charging test while the engine's running. Now you can, the option to print or share. Now if we press share it gives you the option to email it to somebody so if you've got a customer um, and you want to email the results to them it's a very professional way of doing it rather than just going in and saying yeah your battery is no good do you want us to fit a new one you can just email them the results of the test and let them decide from there. So I've sent the results to myself and I got an email here from launch so we click on the email and we'll download the report. 
And there is the report, exactly the same that we've seen on the screen of the tool sent directly to me. Right, so let's turn this off and see what the average user can do on their mobile phone. So I've just downloaded the app, BST360 on the Google Play app, Play Store. Now surprisingly, I didn't have to search for the item in my Bluetooth menu or anything, I just went into the app and it just said it's that the tester is automatically connected. Okay, so we're going to do the same test again. Now, bear in mind, the engine has been running for five minutes, so we may get a better result this time than we did on the last one, 85%. So we're going to go with again with an EFB battery, European standard, and we'll slide. So it's exactly the same as we get on the expensive tool there. Same. 7.30. Click OK. So exactly what I said there, we have now 100% state of charge. Measured starting current there, input rating, and internal resistance, which is important. Now, like I said, it is my first time using this app, so it does say this this time instrument damage, so I'm not sure what that means. I'm going to click to the next one, which is doing the engine start test. We're going to start it up again. Foot on the clutch. See how long it takes to detect that. So this time we have just over 10 volts. So that's normal. Make sure that the engine is now started before we skip into the next one. Same process again, we're just doing the same process that we've done on the launch tablet there. So, but then this is just on the mobile phone. Okay, hold the revs at 2500. We'll confirm. Got normal voltage. So we'll end the test. And again we got the same option to share share the results. It's quite a good app really, exactly the same as you get on a tool that would send you back set you back four grand. So you may have seen I've used other testers similar to this. And what would I say I like better about this one than others? So the last one I tested had a, a wire coming off of here with a big unit attached to it. Now this one doesn't have that. It's just, look how small and compact that is. You can just put it in at literally anywhere. It connects automatically, instantaneously, within a second or two, it's connected to your phone or your tablet without any messing around. So there's no complicated processes. And what makes it versatile is your mechanic can connect it to his diagnostic tool or the average person can use it and connect it to their phone. Now I think it's an absolutely brilliant tool. I think it's one of the best testers that I've I've used and not just the, what I'd say the best, it's just handy. And that makes it for me something that you want to use. If something is overly complicated, you just tend not to use them. Um, and this one is just very simple and easy to use. You've got the Google Play app, App Store for uh, iPhones, BST360 from launch so I've got a little bag here that I put some of my electrical testers in and look how easy that just fits in there now what I can say I've been given all sorts of testers from top down um, think car tool uh, launch now they are all they are all separate companies and I don't get paid for making any of these videos obviously I get given some stuff to test out but I can honestly say that this is definitely my favourite battery tester that I've come across so far. So that's it, we'll finish up and we'll see you in another video.